In this tutorial, you will make a parametric box for additive 3D printing or subtractive manufacturing. You will learn how to apply several skills from previous tutorials to make a functional box with lid along with threaded inserts and screws. This tutorial has a bunch of tips and tricks along the way that can help you apply the fundamentals of CAD and design to create something practical. With the box being parametric, you will be able to adjust the size and wall thickness to accommodate any design requirements. So, welcome to the Learn It channel. Lesson 11, part one of two. Design a parametric box with threaded inserts. So the first thing we're going to do is save our file. And we're gonna call this box lid with threaded inserts. Great. The next step is to insert all of our parameters. So we'll need to think about all of the parameters needed to make our box and lid. Let's add our first one. We'll call this our width. And let's just put a random number of six inches. And then we will create our depth. And let's just select two inches for that. Next, our height. Let's go two inches. Now we can also create one for our wall thickness. And keep in mind that with parameters, we cannot insert any spaces in between the words. So I like to separate my words by using a capital uh, for the following word. So our wall thickness, let's do a quarter inch wall thickness. We'll also do our lid height. And uh, let's keep that at quarter inch as well. And that should do it. Now let's get right into creating our components as well. Think of all the components that we'll need for this project and create them, if you can, at the beginning of your project. That way, right in your timeline, you will have all of your components made right off the bat, uh, which will aid in keeping your file maintenance nice and clean. So let's do that. Right click here or create new component. We can do either or. I prefer clicking there and creating a new component. We'll name component one our box and enter. Component two will be our lid. Component three will be hardware. And within hardware, we will create our threaded inserts and our screws. Great. So first thing we're going to create is our box. Let's activate that component and get right into the sketching environment. So we'll sketch on our XY plane and let's create a rectangle here, center rectangle, select our center point, And this is where we will select our parameters. So the 2.8 dimension, we are gonna call that our depth and just start typing uh, one letter or a couple letters and you'll see your parameter show up. So we can press enter for that and then tab and we will do our width, enter. There we go. So let's create our fillets at this point. We're just going to select fillet and here we need to select two entities to make our fillet. Usually you can just select the vertex of your sketch, but in this instance, we cannot. We need to select the two edges. So let's do that. I'm gonna select one and two. Now don't type in anything here. We're just gonna select all of our corners first of all, and then type in the value that we want. So let's just call this our wall thickness. So that's gonna keep it at quarter inch. Now we can also offset everything. Let's grab that sketched feature and bring it in our wall thickness as well. There we go. So now we have the foundation for our box. Let's finish that sketch and let's extrude it. So let's pick that first of all, and we're going to raise this to our height minus our lid height. Excellent. And actually, we are going to flip this in the opposite direction. So let's just go back there and we're gonna go negative height plus lid height. And the reason for that is when we expand our browser and go to sketches, our primary sketch will be on top. Sometimes you'll want it on the bottom, sometimes you'll want it on the top. 
but we want to keep it on the top in this instance. So the next thing we'll do is let's create the bottom body that will close off our box. So the easiest way to do that is just create a sketch on that plane, on that face, and finish it. You can see that our sketch inherits everything on that face, including the hole in the middle, the invisible space in the middle. So what we can do now is extrude that and look, we can go either direction. So let's go minus wall thickness and we'll keep our operation at join. So now our box is actually a box. So at this point, we actually want to create uh, those little corners over here so that we have enough room to create our holes for their threaded inserts. So let's go back to our original sketch. And here we're going to add those rads in each of the corner. So let's do that. We can pick three point arc and let's select our center point arc. There, if we just hover our mouse, it says play center point. We're gonna do that right at the vertex. And then this can be any arc. Let's just do that. Great. Now let's make them all equal. There we go. Now we just need to specify a dimension. Well, I would like to keep it the same as the outer corners here, the outer rads. So let's just select equal and make it equal to that. Now, as we change our wall thickness, the rad will change and this inside corner will also change. That's great, let's finish our sketch. So obviously this has not been extruded yet. So let's go back to our initial extrude. We only have one profile, which was our initial profile. Now we can select those four corners and hit okay. Great, let's make sure our model is okay. Now at this point, it's great to check to see if our parameters work well or if something breaks. If something breaks or something errors out, we can fix it at this point rather than down the line. So let's just move our box off to the side and pull up our parameter window. Okay, so there we are. Let's change our width. I'm just gonna select eight inches. Perfect, how about our depth? Four. Great, how about our height? Uh, let's go four inches. Amazing. Now what about our wall thickness? Let's go three eighths of an inch. I'm gonna go three divided by eight. Amazing, our wall thickness changes as well. Now remember that we created the height of this as our total height minus our lid height. So let's see if we change our lid height, which hasn't been created yet, but let's change it to half an inch and you'll see our model changes. There we go, perfect. So it adjusts, it compensates for the lid height. Well, let's go back to a quarter inch there. Our wall thickness, let's go back to quarter inch as well. Our width, well, let's just keep it at eight by four by four. So now let's create our holes for our threaded inserts. Now we need to decide what kind of threaded inserts are we going to put in this? How deep do the holes need to be? So to do that, let's go to McMaster, insert McMaster car component. And here we're gonna look up helical and threaded inserts. And let's select our quarter inch 20. This is gonna be our thread size. Again, quarter inch is our diameter, 20 is threads per inch. So let's select that. And let's scroll down here and try and find something that will work for our 3D printed box. Now here we go. Great, look at this. Heat set inserts for plastic. Let's click on that. I'm gonna expand this window a little bit. Now we have standard and flange. Let's look at the standard threaded inserts here. They're made out of brass. And let's select, well, let's look over them here. We've got installed length. So 0 0.312, we've got three eighths and we've got half an inch. I like the half inch length. The drill bit size, so this is letter O. There are letter drill bit sizes, there are wire drill bit sizes, there are fractional. There's all sorts of different drill bit sizes. 
the letter O actually equals to 0.316 inches. So this will be the whole size that we create. And the installed length is half inch. So we're gonna have to go a little bit deeper than half inch. Now, if we wanted to buy these, a package quantity of 25 for $14.37, that's a pretty good price. And then it actually has a soldering installation tip for $20. And it's actually got an extraction tip if we wanted to purchase that as well. So this is great. I like the brass. You can also get them in aluminum or stainless steel. So let's select our brass one by clicking on the item number. And let's make sure that we download a 3D step file. Let's download it. And actually I've already made a mistake. You can see that our box has been activated and it will insert that part right into our activated component. So we actually want to activate our threaded inserts first. So let's just cancel that. And we can undo the import of that part. Now, before we insert our threaded inserts, let's create our holes. Now here with our sketch, we can activate our original sketch and there are our corner points. So let's just go right into our hole feature we're gonna pick those four holes. Great. Now we want to select, just as we saw in the McMaster car component, that we need to go a little bit more than half inch deep and it's 0.316 in diameter. So let's do that. Let's select a simple hole. We're gonna pick our hole tap type as simple, our drill point as flat. And here we go. Let's go a little bit deeper than half inch. So maybe 0.55 and our diameter 0.316. Okay. So with this as well, we could add just a little bit of a relief so that the threaded inserts fit a little bit better. So let's go back to our hole and let's put in a countersink. And as we zoom in, there's a little 45 degree countersink. It's actually an 82 degree uh, angle. That's a standard for flat headed screws. And then we can pick our diameter. Well, let's just add uh, maybe a 10 thou to either side. So let's call that 0.336. Great, so it's a tiny little chamfer which will aid in the insertion of the threaded inserts. So now let's hide our sketch. Now before we insert it, make sure to go to our hardware and select threaded inserts and activate that. This will insert all of our downloaded files or our downloaded threaded inserts right into this component. So let's do that. Okay, now that we have downloaded that file, yeah, let's just go okay. And you can see if we expand threaded inserts, there we have our first insert already ready for us to go. Now we need four of them. So let's just right click, copy, and paste. This is interesting. We have threaded insert for plastic number one. And look at as soon as we go paste, it's numbered number two. So now let's see what happens when we press shift and select both of those, copy and paste. They're labeled three and four. So we have four threaded inserts right there. We just now need to mate them to these holes. Now I'm looking at these holes and I'm thinking that the wall thickness in between the hole and the outside of the part and the inside of the part, maybe it isn't thick enough. So this is great about parametric modeling. We can just go to our parameters and let's change our wall thickness. Well, let's go to 375, just three eighths of an inch. Perfect, so this is a lot more material. It probably won't crack depending on how good my 3D print goes. So at this point, let's start mating our threaded inserts to our box. I'm just gonna hide my other threaded inserts and just keep number one active. Now I need to see which direction does this threaded insert get inserted into our part. So actually, this is the top and this will be the bottom. So let's create a joint, let's zoom on in here. And remember, we wanna pick the center of this face well, there's two ways of doing it. We can hold down control on Windows, command on a Mac, or just select that face. So I'm gonna just click that face 
And now we can select the center. And let's put this over into quadrant one. I'm gonna do that here. I'm gonna select that face and then the center. Now this is obviously upside down, so we need to flip it. There we go. It has been inserted. And look at our depth of our hole. We can see this with our 3D model as well. Again, as we've activated our threaded inserts component, everything else turns transparent. We can see right through it. And this is probably enough room for the plastic, the melted plastic to settle on the bottom. However, we might need to adjust that. It's good to record exactly how much room we need below our threaded insert so that our threaded insert can at least go flush with our part or a little bit below it and that this won't crash into the bottom. So let's do our other threaded inserts quickly. We're just going to activate or make it visible our second insert there. Let's join this. I'm gonna use the other method by holding down command over my face. And there I can select the center and I'll put this one in quadrant two. So let's put that up here. Flip it. We're good to go. Make number three visible. Joint. And we'll put this into quadrant three. And last but not least, number four we'll put into quadrant four. So now what's the next thing that we need to do? Well, we might be tempted to put in all of our fillets right now. And while that might seem like a logical idea right now, it actually makes things very difficult later on in order to finish our lid and any other components that we might use in the future. So we're going to leave our fillets until the very end. Stay tuned to the next lesson where we will easily design the lid and add the screws to complete this tutorial on designing a 3D printed box with 3D inserts. See you then.